Hi, and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today, we're going to check what's new with Magic's Samplitude Pro X5. Okay, so this is the new Samplitude Pro X5. Um, at first glance, it's, it looks very similar. Uh, should I say identical? Uh, let's check the mixer. Yeah, everything seems to be uh, the same as it was. So let's check what uh, Magic says about the new features. So the new feature starts with the new monitoring section. Um, so the monitoring section, let's see what it does. Yeah, you get an, an input, which could be any uh, input of your interface and any uh, bus from your project. That's nice. Master volume and two outputs. So you can choose uh, maybe two headphone outputs or two monitor outputs. You can add plugins and even set up a talkback mic and control the volumes and everything from here. That's good. Um, in my case, I'm not sure I would use this uh, because uh, I have a RMA interface which offers total mix effects which is a real-time mixer and I get EQs and dynamics on each channel and I can redirect any input into any output so everything is possible with this but I can understand um, that many people would want to create uh, some monitoring setup with this so that's good um, we will deactivate it right now. And what's next? <clears throat> New ARA2 support. The ARA uh, allows the software to send data uh, and receive result of processing through another software like uh, Melodyne. So it's easier to uh, make modification, stuff like that. And the difference with ARA2 is that it is doing uh, better communications between the two softwares. Uh, so let's try with uh, maybe only the base. Edit audio file in Melodyne. And you can see all the notes. I can double click to uh, to start the playback. If I make some changes. Let's see. You see, it does a transfer to uh, Samplitude in real time. And I don't even need to export or save uh, something different in Melodyne. Uh, when time comes to export the project, all the changes will be included. Uh, so what's next? After that, we get new tempo track. Okay, tempo track. Uh, let's start with only MIDI drums. Okay. Okay. Um, so, right click, insert track, tempo track. So if I want, I can add some uh, tempo changes. Uh, we are at 100. Let's uh, go to 120. And then another one. 
110. Let's listen. And what is interesting about this is that you can right click on a on a part and it will go down uh, to the next uh, tempo change instead of uh, doing only um, abrupt changes. And you can, of course, drag the points to change the speed. Let's listen. So it gives many possibilities. That's very good. Thank you, Magix. Um, what's next? New MIDI polyphonic expression. Well, sadly, I don't have any controllers that will do polyphonic expressions. Um, so I'm, I will skip this. I'm pretty sure that uh, a lot of videos will come out about this. Um, let's go to the next point. Uh, inspiration and atmosphere. Uh, so new virtual instruments. Uh, let's try a few. Let's load a virtual instrument. Plugin browser. Uh, instruments. Magics. Uh, what about the new wooden clarinet? <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of settings too, so you can um, put a compressor, uh, choose EQ, uh, add reverb. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, let's try another one. Cinematic soundscape seems interesting. Black magic. Hmm. Okay, we won't uh, try everything. Uh, maybe just the last one. Sansula, what's this? <laughs> Very cute. Okay, and anything else? Um, yeah, we have the new Convology XT, uh, which is a NIR uh, reverb simulator or room simulator, or well, it seems more like um, vintage units simulator. Uh, let's try that. Uh, we will call the mixer and um, let's put some uh, reverb on the acoustic guitar. There we go. 
Um, what can we try? A D2000 was, uh, was nice. Um, concrete uh, church, maybe? I like it. It's very fast, and um, of course, I I don't have those units uh, to compare the sounds, but uh, it gives you a lot of choice. Springs River, wow. Anything else? Oh yeah, the new automation shapes. Uh, let's check this. So let's say we want to automate that uh, reverb. Um, we can choose uh, volumes and put Okay, so uh, what you can do is right click and choose a shape um, like this and adjust it as you want. Nice addition. You see? Okay, uh, anything else? A new wave color. Okay, let's check this. I already activated it and um, looks like that. You can visually see the frequency changes. Okay, uh, let's check with the uh, overhead maybe. See, there's a symbol here, it's in blue. Okay. Uh, the only thing is, uh, if you hit Y and you go into View Options, uh, your settings are there. Uh, just remember that after you uh, you make some changes, Samplitude will need to rebuild the images of the wave and you might need to uh, close down the project and reopen it so that everything is according to your setting. So in the next few videos on the channel, I'm going to check uh, the new features and try to go deeper in them and explain some other differences that might not have been said in the publicity. Uh, so I hope you'll come back to check that. And of course, um, some other functionality that was there in X4 and still there in X5. Uh, I still have questions. If you have any, put them in the comments. It will uh, either generate new videos or I can answer you directly. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, and share my videos. It's always a great help.